Hey guys, this is Suraj here from Amra Siksha. Uh, I'm happy that most of you like my previous videos, which is what is equalization or EQ, and the other video is able to know of you where I just went uh, on telling what is your live page and your live or session or your arrangement page. I hope most of it made sense to you. If not, please you know put a comment below that you don't understand and I'll try remaking the video in a way where you people understand in a much better way and I also hope all the audio quality and the video quality seemed fair enough for you to understand if not please again leave a comment below so this video is about what are the five things you need to know before making a music or as a music producer, what are the five things you need to decide before making a particular music? The first thing which you need to know is your tempo. Now, what is your tempo? A tempo is nothing but it just defines the speed of your track. The other name of tempo is BPM, which is beats per minute. Now, why do we need this tempo or why do we even use them? The reason why we need tempo is because you need to define the tempo of the genre which you are producing. So this leads to the next point. You also need to choose your genre before you start producing music. A genre could be of any any genre of your like. It could be trap, it could be hip hop, it could be progressive house, it could be electro house you know and all of these actually comes under EDM most of the people think EDM is a genre by itself no EDM is electronic dance music and all of these genres such as hip-hop or you know uh, electro house progressive house tech house everything falls under the genre of EDM most of the people do not know different sorts of genres so I've seen most of them telling I've heard trance I've heard uh, you know some sort of trance but that would not be trance that would be tech house that would be electro house so you need to get your genre basics right i will also take a class on what are the different types of genre and how do you identify them and how do you differentiate between tech house to deep house deep house to electro house electro house to hip hop in hip hop you have multiple genres if you guys do not know about it in hip hop there is multiple genres such as West Coast, East Coast, Southside Hip Hop. You also have sort of classical hip hop and also hip hop is right now, you know, you can classify it as much as many as you want. But that is not what I want you all to understand. The, I want you all to understand what are the five things you need to decide before making a track. So as I said, the first thing you need to decide before making a track is your tempo and how do you get to a tempo simple you have in your ableton you have the tempo bar here where i'm clicking right now this is the tempo bar right now it's a it's set it's it's right now set to 120 bpm let's say that i'm making a progressive house track progressive house track is somewhere around 128 bpm <coughs> so i'm all i'm gonna do is just I'm gonna type in my keyboard of my MacBook to 128 and then I'm gonna press enter. You can either do it by clicking once and then typing the numbers or you can just click and then hover your mouse down or upwards. If you're hovering your mouse downwards then the number decreases like you see here. If you're doing it upwards the number increases like you see here. But it, I, I kind of feel it's much easier if you type it down because, you know, you save some time. So that's the first thing which you want to do. Like I said, the next thing is I'm going to produce a, let's say I'm going to produce a progressive house. Now, what are the things you need to, you know, decide while producing a progressive house? First things, a couple of things would be choosing your drum kit. Uh, you would not want to choose your drum kit which sounds like a hip hop or trap beat. You would not want to choose your drum kit which sounds like a dubstep. So you need to study about what is progressive house. One of the best artists I know who produces progressive house and, and in a way is, he's he's a legendary of making progressive house is Dead Mouse. So it's D E A D M A U 5. Just put this in your Google, search it and you will find this artist and please do listen to his songs or the way he makes tracks. I think it's the best. It just blows you out of your, you know, mind. 
and so please listen to his tracks and understand the structure of the track which now it leads to the third point the third point is nothing but define your structure of your track before even you could start producing it so it makes much easier for example in edm we tend to use terminologies like intro breakdown build up stanza breakdown build up another stanza and then again breakdown or it directly goes to an outro now what is an intro an intro is nothing but <coughs> sorry an intro is nothing but it is uh the start point of your track and it it's as simple as that the word itself defines that it is an intro what is a breakdown a breakdown is where you you introduce the theme of a track uh it could it could be a theme which is very interesting and you would want to highlight that and probably that kind of leads or your tunes you would introduce in your you know breakdown letting people know that this is the tune which i'm going to keep it as a main and i'm going to resemble or structure my track around this tune so you do better get used to this tune in my breakdown itself so that is what you are hinting the people build up is where you take the track to its high you know to its energy where it meets the highest point and this highest point is nothing but your stanza so you first come up with the intro and then you introduce the theme of the track in your breakdown and then you take the track from your breakdown to an you know upward energy where it meets the stanza so while you're taking the track in an upward energy that's where you use all the snare rolls or you know hi hat rolls and couple of other things you also you tend to go a little higher pitch in your vocals and then you go to the stanza stanza is nothing but it is the highest energy of a track would be in a stanza the highest energy of a track would be in a stanza and that is where all of the energy of the track comes falls into place so you would want your audience or your listeners to make it interesting till the point of the stanza and your stanza has to, also has to be interesting and i think that would pretty much sort your track out because after that it's again a breakdown again the same you know theme of the track you would be you know sampling that probably use a different instrument and not the same instrument if you're using the same instrument layer it with another one but again keep in mind that it's a breakdown it's not a build up so you do not want your energy to be at the max in your breakdown itself so it because it would confuse listeners you know they would be wondering i just heard to the stanza why is it still continuing so you would, you would not want to do that and also i i personally feel that you would want your energy of the track to gradually increase and not give everything to the listeners at the starting point itself because that kind of bores the listener they would not want to keep listening to the same energy over and over again for almost 2 or 3 minutes so it's better you gradually increase the track for for about 30 or 45 seconds and then give your breakdown or your your build up after you know till the 45th or 1 minute and then put your stanza at 1 minute it depends the time absolutely it's in your call i usually do like in 8 bar intro and then 8 bar breakdown 8 bar build up and then again 8 or 16 bar of stanza so that's how i do it but it again depends on people person to person it obviously depends on the content what you're trying to do in your track so that is how you define the structure of the track the structure of the track again i'm repeating it is intro breakdown build up stanza and then it is again breakdown or build up and then stanza or again breakdown or go to the outro what is the outro outro is nothing but it's the end of the track the name again defines itself so that is that is the outro and the next thing you would want to decide is how long you want your track to be you do not want an hip hop track to be for 6 minutes because i don't think people would want to listen the same lyrics or the same beats again and again for 6 minutes so it's always better for you to have an hip hop track 
max at three and a half to four minutes i would say because again hip hop the beat itself is very repetitive so the only thing you can play around or you can work around would be your leads and your rap and i am i'm i'm sure you do not want to give all your rap content in a single track to be like a six minute i'm sure you want to make an album where each track is only about two and a half to three minutes so that you can at least come up with a seven track album uh so i think that's the best idea for you to decide the track and the next thing what i would want you to do is you know i i think this is the most important important uh, aspect of the entire track producing most of the people get this wrong because they are not much familiarized or they do not know how to play a piano or they don't bother the, uh, or they feel it's not that important but it is the most important thing in your track which is you should choose and find your scale of the track a scale of the track is nothing but a root note for your entire track it could be a c scale it could be a d scale it could be an e scale uh one small tip is if you want to make something like happy obviously go for the majors because in majors you always get this happy kind of feeling if you want something like a sad or dark go with the minors like e minor b minor all of these you know tend to give you a little dark sound i'm i'm a fan of minors because i tend to you know play with the feelings of the dark and you know it because it emotionally connects people because not everyone is happy all the time but it's the same way not everyone is happy not everyone is sad all the time but i tend to choose minors but it's again your call so please choose the scale of the track you know which suits the content of your uh, ideas you want to make a happy track and don't end up producing a dark vibe and don't get lost most of the people do this mistake you want to produce something happy choose the right scale for a happy content and then start producing and working around it do not produce something which is dark and put some happy lyrics it's never going to sound the same so please don't do that it's like you're trying to fly an aeroplane in a railway track that would never you know you would never want to do that that's out of the world like you just don't want to try that being experimental is fine but this kind of experimental will not work for sure so you want to make something happy make or find a happy scale try working it out again and again and again and then i think that that would lead to a point where you've come up with a happy tune and then you can start working around your track like adding beats and then writing lyrics for it adding pads adding your you know chords coming up with all different sorts of elements and i think that's about it so i hope now you understand what are the most five important things for you to decide before coming up with a track and i hope this made sense to y'all please you know keep all of these things in mind it is very important it is really really makes sense when you put all of these five things in your plate and then you start producing music it works it helps a lot trust me because in experience i'm telling it does work work out and at to a certain point you don't feel that you will you might get lost or you might not be confident enough please follow these five steps and i'm pretty damn sure you will not get lost or you will feel confident at least you know 10 or 20 percent confident something is better than nothing as far as i know so i think you know follow these five steps start making music educate people and let's also learn together thank you so much please like subscribe and share this channel to everyone who is interested in learning music production or to make music just using a computer and a headphone thank you so much again this is suraj from amanra siksha thank you